Hi, I'm Bron Shane. I'm with Black Pumps TV, and this is a, the gorgeous piece who's been nominated for her excellence in journalism. How are you doing this evening? I'm very well, thank you. I'm very excited about tonight. Oh my goodness, you are phenomenal. You've got tons of awards. How are you a nonprofit? You. You're a correspondent. Like, what can't you do, honestly? You look fantastic. Thank you very much. You what? Thank you. What are you most excited for about tonight, especially just being this phenomenal woman? Like, what are you looking forward to for tonight for Style Africa? Um, well, I'm very excited to be celebrating our heritage tonight. Yes. I think it's a phenomenal platform, and it's events like this that are giving us the opportunity yes. to project our voices and celebrate our continent. So for me, just to be part of the whole atmosphere will be absolutely phenomenal. But obviously, I'm looking forward to the fashion as well. Exactly. Um, you have to go for that. So yes, um, I'm really excited about it. It's going to be a fun night. And I was going to say, like, as a news correspondent, what do you love the most about the hybrid between style and technology? Like, What are you noticing? What are you enjoying the most about that? Um, I think that there's a gradual change. I think how people are looking at style and style for the African is starting to change. And I think when you're mentioning technology, for me, I always look at social media because that's the right. biggest technological phenomenon that's happening right now. Um, and I think that's having a huge influence on how people see not only style and fashion in general, but African style and fashion. It's yes. actually becoming a celebrated in thing. It's cool to Completely. dress in our traditional clothes now. Um, and for me, that's the most amazing and huge transformation that I've seen yes. over this period of time. Wow. And what is something that in your career you're looking forward to next? Like you have accomplished so much in Thank such a you. short amount of time. What is the next thing you're looking forward to? Um, honestly, I feel that... I've only been at this for two years, so Which is I've been amazing. Taking, I'm kind of still taking it in, yes. um, and I think for me the biggest thing I've learned is just to appreciate the now, appreciate yes. the, what's happening now, and just leave the rest up to God. He kind of tends to yes. do his own thing. You can plan, and he'll be like, no. No. So, Here's a better plan. To, yeah. Yes. So I've just learned now to appreciate the moment, appreciate everything that he's managed to do in yes. my life and just keep praying to grow and be better at whatever it is that he's got next for me. But I'm so loving beautiful. where I'm at right now. That's so beautiful. Just thank like you. you. And with your nonprofit, what do you think is like your final word of advice for everyone who just wants to do great things and do good for other people, but just trying to get started? Like what would you advise people? I think the most important piece of advice is um, don't try to do what maybe your fellow brother or sister's mm. doing, or if you hear a success story, to run and follow what they right. did. Um, I think everyone has their own unique path. Yes. And you need to find out your path and then make that path work for you. But if it's not something you're passionate about, don't do it. If yes. it's about money, don't do it. You have to let your own genuine drive um, and hunger to do to make a difference and to make an impact speak for you. And that's what opens all the doors. But if you're chasing anything other than that, it will never work. And that's yes. the most important. So beautiful. You are so beautiful inside oh, and out. You. It was wonderful meeting you. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you very much.